Guys, I'm gonna walk you guys through the exact process that I use to decide whether or not a keyword is worth targeting. This is gonna be a more advanced keyword research video, so if you are new to keyword research, I really recommend you check out part one of this series, which I'll add up here somewhere. Otherwise, let's get into the video. So we are gonna continue with last video's example. The keyword that we found was keto tofu recipe. So Ahrefs is telling us that there's a keyword difficulty of nine and that it's easy. We're going to cover that in just a second. And then we have a volume, a monthly volume of around 700 clicks a month, traffic potential of around 800. So that's great and all, but let's get deep into this keyword. So I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom where we can see the SERP overview. So these are the top 10 results, the top 10 competitors that are ranking for this specific keyword. We do want to make sure that we've covered the two main points of the last video, which is one, understanding the type of content and making sure that it fits with the content that we're gonna produce and the intent that we're targeting. And number two, finding a way that we can improve the content that's already available to one-up our competitors. Once we've done that, we need to be able to break down the strength of our competitors' domain and understand the quality of backlinks that they've developed over time. So the first thing that I'm gonna do when I see the SERP overview is I'm gonna take a look at this metric, which is the domain rating. So even though this isn't the most relevant metric, it helps us understand the type of competitor that's out there. So again, the domain rating, it's a metric that tells us the overall strength of that domain based purely off of the strength and the quality of the backlinks that are pointing to that domain. So as we scroll down, we're gonna see that there's some pretty high domain ratings. So we have an 84 here. We have a 33, a 31, 82, 59. I say that this isn't the most relevant metric because oftentimes we're gonna see that we're gonna find competitors like this guy, yumly.com with a domain rating of an 82 that is present but isn't doing super well. So a lot of these really big competitors are present just for the sake of being present because they wanna take over that whole topic, but they actually don't put in a lot of effort to make sure that they're ranking well for these specific keywords. And the reason for that is that isn't really worth it for them. So these huge domains are targeting much bigger keywords and a keyword of around 700 clicks a month isn't really of interest to them. On the other hand, we have niche specific competitors like these guys, ketopots.com and howtodoketo.com. They're gonna put in everything they have to target these keywords that have a lower search volume but are very relevant for their specific website. So a metric that is way more relevant for this specific analysis is the UR metric. So this metric represents the overall strength of the specific URL that's ranked for this specific keyword. So all of these different URLs. So we're gonna see there's definitely an important pattern here. The highest UR rating is all the way at the top. And then we see a pattern of lower and lower URs, except for this one down here. The 10th result actually has a UR of 20. It could be a lot of reasons for that, but it's definitely clear that the higher UR metric you have, the better you're going to do for this specific keyword. This UR metric is based exclusively off the backlinks and domains that are pointing to that specific URL. But my main question is, how many backlinks would we actually need to rank properly for this specific keyword? So Ahrefs is actually recommending that we need backlinks from around 10 websites to rank in the top 10 for this keyword. But this is a pretty ambiguous statement. What type of websites? How strong are these websites? What type of links are we looking at? This specific recommendation doesn't help us out a lot. That's why we need to dig a little deeper and understand the type of backlinks that our competitors have. So what I like to do is I like to open up the top three just to see the exact type of backlinks that they're getting. And the reason that I opened up the domains instead of the backlinks is that we know that for each specific domain, we can have multiple backlinks. So it's just easier for me to get a bird's eye view. If I click into the domains, I see the type of domains they're linking out. And that helps me understand the types of websites and the quality of those links from a bird's eye view. So this is the number one result. And now we have a list of all the different referring domains. I am gonna add a filter and make sure that I'm only looking at do follow links. So we already see that separation of 34 links. We only have 23 
that are due follow. And a final touch that I'm gonna add is click on the domain rating so it sorts from the highest domain rating to lowest. So if we scroll all the way down, we're gonna see that more than half of the backlinks that this website is getting has a domain rating of zero. So these links are basically useless. And if we keep scrolling up, we see that there's a few domains with a domain rating of two, of three, of four, of four. So these are also very, very small domains. These aren't gonna be links of very high value. And then we finally get to the top where we see five pretty strong domains with a DR of 74. We can even go deeper into each domain that's linking out to this competitor. So we see that this specific URL has a UR14. This is a specific anchor text. So we can go pretty deep into this. It's a whole different rabbit hole. The main thing that we wanna take a look at is that we only really have five solid domains that are linking out to this specific competitor that is ranked number one. If we take a look at the number two, again, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna segment by do follow. We only have four do follow domains and we, it looks like we have three pretty strong referring domains. And then for the third one, we have five do follow domains. And if we sort by domain rating, we only have one seriously solid backlink referring domain. So what is that telling me? So Ahrefs is recommending that we get around 10, but from the analysis that we've just done, I would recommend getting between one to three solid backlinks from solid referring domains that's gonna give us the edge, of course, taking for granted that everything else in our SEO checklist is being done correctly. So now that we understand how to break down our competitors for specific keywords, I do wanna give you guys two quick advanced keyword research tips. So the first one is we want to make sure that we're adding keyword modifiers. Keyword modifiers allow us to refine that keyword research and to make sure that we don't lose any time and search credits on keywords that aren't super relevant. So Ahrefs actually has this phenomenal little table that allows us to pick and choose modifiers to add to our keyword research. So let me give you guys an example. Let's say that I was creating an affiliate website in the keto space. What I would do is I would pick these modifiers in the commercial investigation column, so best and top. So I actually have the keto keyword up here inside matching terms, and I'm gonna include these in my filter. So I have selected any word and I've added best and top. And when I click apply, we're gonna see that we get a much more refined list of keywords. So best keto snacks, foods, meal delivery, pills, bread, ice cream. So these are the type of keywords that are gonna make a lot more sense for my affiliate website. I really recommend you guys use keyword modifiers. It's gonna make your keyword research a lot more efficient. And the final tip that I wanna talk about is checking your competitors' keywords. That's an easy way of finding work that your competitors have already done for you. So I'm gonna give you guys an example. I'm gonna use this specific competitor. I'm gonna look at the domain. I'm gonna quickly look at the organic keywords. So they have 33,000 keywords, almost 34,000. Lots of traffic coming in here. I'm gonna add a little filter where the keyword contains recipes. I'm gonna apply that. We now have 2,700 keywords with the keyword recipes, and I am gonna add another filter, max keyword difficulty of 10. I'm gonna hit apply, and a minimum volume of 50. Again, this is optional. I just like to clean up a lot of those really, really small keywords. Oftentimes, they aren't extremely relevant. Volume 50, and now we have a great list of keywords that we just took from our competitors in just a few clicks. I you guys learned from this if you haven't already check out airbnb's incredible seo strategy there's a lot to learn from them i'll see you guys in the next one